Welcome to today's show. On today's show, we're going to study the life of Benjamin Franklin. Where do we begin? Benjamin Franklin was intelligent, mannerly, witty, resourceful, determined, a peacemaker, cerebral, outgoing, lively, polite. He was a politician, brilliant, an inventor, a friend. He was charming, athletic, a genius, curious, loyal, sophisticated, independent, ingenious, adventurous, calm, thoughtful, creative, innovative, honest, and most assuredly, Benjamin Franklin was one of a kind. I mean, look at some of the hobbies and jobs that Benjamin Franklin had during the course of his life. He was an inventor, author, diplomat, statesperson, philosopher, printer, journalist, librarian, political activist, and satirist, in addition to being a postmaster. Benjamin Franklin was born in Boston, Massachusetts in 1706. By 1718, he had begun a printing apprenticeship with his brother. In 1723, Benjamin moved to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania to work as a printer. By 1724, he had moved to London and he worked in a printer shop there. Franklin returned to Philadelphia in 1726. Two years later, in 1728, he opened a print shop of his own in Philadelphia. An author and a publisher, he published the Pennsylvania Gazette in 1729. From 1732 to 1758, Benjamin Franklin published Poor Richard's Almanac, which is a book of facts. Benjamin Franklin was wealthy with wisdom, and he felt that it was his obligation to share that with the people of the United States. Included within his almanac are sayings, and here's some of my favorites. By failing to prepare, you are preparing to fail. Early to bed and early to rise makes a man healthy, wealthy, and wise. We are all born ignorant, but one must work hard to remain stupid. Tell me, and I forget. Teach me, and I remember. Involve me, and I learn. And lastly, well done is much better than well said. Benjamin Franklin was a prolific inventor who invented many things over the course of his life, including the pioneering of American political cartooning, a reaching device, the lightning rod, bifocals, swim fins, the Franklin stove, the harmonica, the hand paddle for swimming, and he was America's first celebrity. Around 1746 was the time that Benjamin Franklin had conducted many experiments with electricity. By 1748, he had retired from printing. In 1751, he published Experiments and Observations on Electricity. And by 1752, he had experimented with the kite and lightning. In 1757, he traveled to London and he acted as a representative of the American colonies. By 1771, Franklin began working on his memoirs, composing the autobiography of Benjamin Franklin. From 1775 to 1776, he served as a Pennsylvania delegate to the Constitutional Convention. In 1776, Benjamin Franklin was one of 56 signers of the Declaration of Independence, formally freeing the United States from British rule. In 1957, Benjamin Franklin traveled to London. He acted as a representative for the American colonies. Benjamin Franklin had a powerful reputation as a negotiator. In 1778, he negotiated the Treaty of Alliance with France. In 1782, he negotiated peace with Great Britain. In 1783, he signed the Treaty of Paris, ending the American Revolutionary War. From 1785 to 1788, Benjamin Franklin served as the governor of Pennsylvania. In 1787, he signed the Constitution of the United States and he died in 1790 in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Let's take this time to summarize what we've learned about Benjamin Franklin. Benjamin Franklin was a one-of-a-kind American. He was America's first celebrity. He is known as one of America's founding fathers for his contributions that led to American independence. We honor the life of Benjamin Franklin by putting his face on postage stamps. He's also on the $100 bill, and he has statues throughout the entire United States. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to connect with us. Check out our Teachers Pay Teachers store. Follow us on Instagram. Like us on Facebook. And check out our Pinterest page. Hop on over to our YouTube channel where you can check out many exciting videos like the one that you've just seen. And check out our blog at www.bowtieguyandwife.com.